Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clay with Minute Ministry. Got a minute? So, um, hopefully in the next week, they say in the next week, I'll be uh, editing videos again. So, until then, um, I am here. So, I wanted to talk to you about our tithe. Um, and tithe gets a lot of, you know, messages about how you should give your tithe. You should make sure that your tithe is, um, you know, the first ten and what that means. That's not really what I want to get into today. I want to talk about Ephesians. In the book of Ephesians, it talks about how God has given prophets, apostles, evangelists, teachers, uh, pastors, or shepherds, and he's given these five-fold ministries, and he gives them for this reason. He gives them for the equipping of the saints to do the work of the ministry. So what that means is that it's not the job of the apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, that it's not their job to do your ministry. It is your job to do the work of the ministry. As, you know, saints, as sons and daughters of God, he is calling us into ministry. And this is what happens though. We start thinking that our tithe is our payment to someone else to do our ministry. Well, I'm paying the salary of the pastor so I don't have to do ministry myself anymore. The pastor is going to do my ministry. And that's not the case. That's not the way that it works. Um, God has made it pretty clear that, you know, like the tithe is this that you are taking from what it is that, that you have made and you are giving back to Him. And that ministry is what we're all called to do. We're all called to shine the light. And so, that being said, we cannot have the mindset that someone else is going to do the ministry that God has called us to do. Because He chose you. You're a chosen generation. You were chosen for a particular purpose, and only you can fulfill that purpose. So whenever you want to try to pay off or pay your tithe in lieu of doing ministry, I'll pay a little bit extra because I just don't have the time or the energy to do it, then what you're saying is what I was called to do wasn't special. Anyone can do it. But God says that he calls you with a purpose, and that purpose is very specific, and it's for you and you alone. So as you go through this weekend, as you go through this week, I want you to think, what is the ministry that God has called me to do that I only I can accomplish it? Because in the end, only you can accomplish it. And the church needs you. We can't do it without you. Thanks for taking a minute.